Hello everyone, Saz here. Hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be taking a look at probably the best docking hub on the market today, the CalDigit Thunderbolt 4 Station, which includes dual display, 98 watt charging, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, 8 USB ports, and 3 Thunderbolt 4 ports. Sort of. Unfortunately, one of those ports is meant to connect the station with your computer, so you really only get two ports that you can use to plug in your devices. But before we get into that, I'll get this unboxed and set up so we can go over the design, the ports, the setup process, and some of the pros and cons that you might run into with this particular hub. I did drop a link to the station in the description if you want to check it out, but if you've got any more questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Now inside the box, you get rubber legs for your station, the station itself, the smallest Thunderbolt 4 cable in the world, and a ginormous power brick to power your station and all the devices that will be plugged into the station itself. The brick is almost the same size as the actual station, but that really is more due to the fact that the station is just really small and compact despite all of the features that come with it. Overall, the station feels sturdy and I personally like the small form factor. So these are just some of the ports on the station and officially it comes with 18 different ports that you can use to connect different devices to your computer via a single cable. Most of the ports will be on the back of the station and here you can see the one port that actually connects all of these devices to your computer via one single cable while also keeping it charged. On the front of the station you'll find some other ports that are designed for easier access, just things that you might want to take in and out of the station more often. Just a reminder that this station doesn't have a second display port and it doesn't have an HDMI port and so that means that if you are looking to do dual displays you're going to have to use them with a USB-C type connection on one end and I'll put a link in the description to what I'm actually using otherwise you'll have to use uh, an adapter like the ones that I'm showing here here I have the station set up with one display so this is what it'll look like with all of the cables here's what the station looks like with a keyboard and mouse connected via the USB-A connections and here's what it looks like with a second display using a USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3 connection. And then finally I've plugged in a couple of extra accessories meaning that I've used all of the ports on the back of the station. And here's my attempt to prevent a fire hazard. Finally you plug in that one upstream cable to your computer and that's it. You just turn on your computer and everything just works. You can actually turn on all of your devices via your accessories, a feature that's not always found on other USB protocols. As far as the pros and cons for this particular station, really there are only two that came to mind. The first one is that it came with the world's smallest Thunderbolt 4 cable and that meant that I actually had to go out and buy a much longer cable. I had to get this cable because the one that came in the box just did not work for my setup at all. It was just way, way too small. Unfortunately it meant buying a so somewhat expensive cable given that Thunderbolt 4 is still a newer protocol. The only other con is that the station actually does get pretty hot running even just for a couple of hours. You can put your hand on it and it just feels way way too warm. Like I'm not sure how long the station is going to last given that uh, it really feels like it's overheating just running even a single display. But let me know in the comments if you think this is something that we should be concerned about. So maybe I'm overreacting and it's not really something that we need to worry about. Definitely the biggest pro is the Thunderbolt 4 protocol because everything just works exactly as you expect it to. The other thing that I really like about this unit is just the thoughtfulness in the design. I especially like the ports that are on the front of the unit because for example I always find myself plugging in headphones into the audio jack or plugging in a USB into the USB drive. But on top of feature proofing your workflows, the ease of use and the form factor just make starting your workday a whole lot easier, especially in the work from home environments that we live in today. So overall, I would definitely recommend this unit. Again, I am a little bit worried about how long it's gonna last given how hot it gets. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Is this something that you would buy? And should we be worried about how hot this unit gets? Thanks, until next time, see ya.